Hello and welcome to a review of Gilano Games Season 3 Episode 6. As usual, amazing episode. I mean, I say that every single time because every episode is amazing. So go and check it out on Soup's YouTube channel. This video will contain spoilers. Go watch it if you haven't already. We start today's review off in a very fitting location with one of my favorite chats from this week's episode from It's Will. So many people come up to me in game and say, don't trust solo mission in Guild Wars games. <laughs> You guys are snaking me out. Come on now. Who wouldn't trust me? And today we're in a very fitting location. The Underground Pass. And my first DM of the day was from Mr. EVscape. Every time before the Gilano Games episode is filmed, like one or two hours before, Soup posts the gear you need. And it had like fire arrows and stuff in it, etc. So Evie's like, underground pass. And I'm like, yeah, for fuck's sake, Boaty's propping at the mouth right now because he won last time. And yeah, wasn't, honestly, wasn't looking forward to this challenge just because I knew it wouldn't necessarily fare that well for me as it's probably going to be another race through the underground pass, right? I, I was thinking maybe it's going to be the whole map and the underground pass is part of it, but. Ended up being, yeah, kind of what I predicted. We then go on to have some chit chat. I have by far the most DMs from EVscape so far this Guild Wars Games Season 3. And I say, maybe we need to make a move after this episode. And he's like, yeah, we need to play some moves. I've got two people in mind to come with us. Who have you got? I'll tell you after. And I say, I need to observe what they do today uninfluenced. And by that, I mean uninfluenced by me, just so I can solidify I know exactly what is going on. And just a quick refresher, we're coming off the back of week five where I split my vote between two alliances to cause as much confusion as possible. Will told me who I voted for, which allowed me to unpack everything and get the votes exactly correct, which nobody else could possibly know at this point. And... The blame is being pinned on all these people down here that aren't in the core alliance chats of the USA alliance and the rest of the world alliance, I guess I'll call them. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at in the games. But the problem is I don't really have that much power. I have like soft power and I can, um, I can influence people when I get in a banning call. But if I don't win, I'm at... I'm at a lot of risk every single week where I don't win because people are like think I'm good and also think I'm untrustworthy and they want to get me back for last season. So there's so many motivations to get rid of me. So I need, I feel like I need a bit more power, you know. Moving on to the challenge. We all know the challenge. A big team versus big team race through the underground pass. Now, like I say in the episode, it's a blessing and a curse, the big team thing, because you have essentially a 50% chance of being immune but you also have a 50% chance of being up for the banning with not a lot of people to vote for so it puts me at massive risk so I actually I actually hate when it's a big team v big team I think it's really bad for me because when we're in small teams or solos I'm coming top one or two every time I know so it's like 50 50 whether I win like in that scenario but when there's so many less people to vote for when we lose I don't know it's just not a good time so I was on the black team with tasty settled eight sat Torvesta, victim and skill specs now I thought the teams were pretty fair I actually had us as slight underdogs to the blue team just because I thought these guys had a better they probably have more hours into the game and a lot more diversity in what they've played through the game so I had us as slight underdogs but I don't know if that was fair because our team performed incredibly well in this challenge, obviously, outside of Torvesta. It's also very curious, because coming off the back of episode 5, who did people vote for here? And the votes went EVscape, 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 uh, framed, EVscape and framed, EVscape and EVscape. <laughs> so... <laughs> It was a bit of a weird alliance split, the two teams, essentially. But remember, I'm the only person that has realized that. I'm the only one that knows I split my votes and that Will voted for Foe last week, so I can work it all out. The other people have it slightly wrong, which is probably why they go for the throw hit, which actually is not great <laughs> if you know the full situation. Although that being said, it was kind of close to going through, so... Ballsy play, I respect it. As for the challenge itself, there's not really that much you can control from an individual standpoint. I was just a big advocate for keeping it simple, make sure you're going the right ways and always be forward looking. Bind people in front of you, not behind you and that sort of stuff. Oh my God, I have to show you this bit. This is horrendous play from me. I go for the pick lock, the doors open, I can't get through. My adrenaline's going. The salt. This is this is peak solar emission shakes. I go for this stupid hole that I can't click on, and this is terrible. Honestly, look how much time I waste here. Oh my days! Tried to spare frame. He goes down the hole, and 
Honestly, horrendous gameplay from myself. Don't, don't normally catch myself saying that, but that was absolutely horrendous. I'm right at the back here. And luckily some people fall down and we get on to the next bit. I'll talk about this sort of stuff because it's weird. You don't normally get an unedited perspective. Will actually snares me here, the cheeky rat. You're only supposed to use binds, but it's one of those things... One of those things that you forget the rules. Like, that's why I'm always more of a fan of... I think you should just be able to entangle plus augury because people inevitably just don't do the right thing. Just not because they're being malicious, just because they forget what the actual rules are. Here we see a blue person going off the wrong way, with it, which we weren't allowed to go, which is faster. Like, these things just happen. On, on both teams, they'll be happening. So, yeah. I like... I'd rather the rules were, like, kept si simple sometimes we get stuck in this terrible group of four where we can't really affect the outcome of the people in front of us but luckily i managed to catch up to frayed and get the bind on him and that gains us so many places there all these people passing framed that's like gaining three points and them losing three points as you can see we're coming into the pass and the black team is quite a bit behind the blue team they have so many people in the high positions and i think they actually kind of mess up here by uh staying back i definitely don't think that's the play. Uh, the problem is binds only last for five seconds. And if you're staying back, like it's just one for one. It's single combat. If it was multi, maybe stay, staying back's worth it. But I, I just don't think it's worth it when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Like if you're if you're stopping people, you're also letting people overtake you. Oh, this is a nice one on Vitoso. I get the bind, I run past, and then I also spare him backwards. That is like, oh, gained so much from that maneuver right there. So we're all starting to climb. They're like focusing on going backwards. We're forward looking, EV escape there. That's another nice little bit. The blacks are starting to move through here. We really played very well through this elven bit. And uh, obviously got sabotaged at the end. But I'm running the front of a pack here, which is nice. I don't know how I've managed to get here from being like the last place from earlier. I, it's just from going the right way, honestly. Going the right the way, it gets you so far. I go for EV escape there. But instantly, as soon as I say I can't get him, it's one click onto the next thing. I do decide to spend the one second to wait for Vitoso and spear him. And this is incredible. Everyone was running south because Zoe was south. But actually, the right way was north. And I end up coming here, seeing Pharaoh, who was miles ahead. They had so many people miles ahead, but they really messed up. And then our team starts coming through here big time. I'm now way ahead in second. And if you see this part, Pharaoh's in the lead. Pharaoh's number one. I'm number two. We've got skill specs number three, Torvester number four, Settled number five. And we also have Tasty in here as number six. It's black, 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 black. We literally have two, three, four, five, six on the map, which is where the flipping sabotage happens. And Torvester spearing people, it it does make us lose by by a lot. We would have actually cleared them so hard if Torvester didn't start ragging at this point. Anyway, I bring it home in second somehow. Impressed that I managed to get through. It's just from doing the basics, honestly. Don't get distracted. So we were in a great spot to win, and then Torvester sabotages. And I'll be 100% honest here. I didn't even know that he sabotaged. I was just going off what everyone else said because I was slightly in front of them. I didn't really see it myself. So I was just I was just concentrating on my own stuff. I'll put in the the uh, the footage here unedited just so you can have a little behind the scenes of how everyone was feeling. <laughs> Skills Banks was pissed, man. It's too good. Mate, I'm your teammate. What are you doing, bro? Bro. He's, he's, he's sacrificing. He's sabotaging. Alex is sabotaging, bro. Wait, where's, where's, where, where are we going to here? Oh, I, got a, I got a bind out on you. To the port. To the port. To the dock. To the dock and you're done. Can you get any of these guys, Alex? Get to the dock. Get to the dock. I hit a bind on you. Wait. Alright, nice. Thanks, nice. Trade suit. Trade suit. Bind people. Where's suit? Trade suit. No, no, no. You don't have to trade him. You have to trade him. All right, we're here. Let's go. Cast some binds. Cast some binds. Cast some. Wait, we have to cast binds here because Foe's like just rugged. <laughs> I thought everybody laughed. That's everybody. Everybody's done. Okay. Is that it? Is that GG? Is that everybody? Yeah. Damn. I think we won. Oh, I think we won. I don't know. We got a lot of hits. It's a few. Man, the last two. Let me. Uh, oh, there's somebody. Wait, who's that? The tour is the. It's okay. Like you're actually a snake. Okay. No, you're actually a snake. Yeah, Alex griefed us really hard. Yeah, he really really left. did. Intentionally. Yeah. Well, we pick who goes in from our team if we lose. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. GL. Hop up. Footage, that was... Uh, Bro, he did it on purpose, man. Nah, nah, man. That's <laughs> a snake. He's snake. He's not even here. Alex, you sneaky fuck, bro. 
Okay, if we lose, we pick a person rat, from our team to rat, go to the bro. banning. So, it is what it is. Oh, that's how it goes. Nah, I'm fuming, bro. Yes, we sir. Have, well, we're that's gonna have the cool. votes. Yeah, I mean, what happened? Uh, <laughs> Somebody was griefing and uh, didn't realize they're getting thrown into the banning. Oh, he's he binded me too, and then finished last on purpose. Wait, did he? So he sandbagged your own team? Correct. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Oh. Yeah, wait, what's his username? What his username? What is username? What happened? Uh, rat. Alex fucking sabotaged <laughs> us, bro, to 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 <laughs> make the other team win, bro, because his Al Alliance is more so in that team, bro. Sad. Very interesting. As I said before, I wasn't quick to jump on Torvester because <laughs> this is gonna make me sound like the biggest mug ever. But he was muted from like halfway through. Like he, he's, he's not like the loudest person he calls anyway. But I thought that like maybe something had happened to him in real life and he just didn't, he wasn't at his PC or he just didn't want to say <laughs> or something like that. But I don't know why I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He just screwed over everybody, which it's a, it's a tough one because. It's like great content is like funny and stuff when it happens the first time. But what if it keeps happening? I don't know. I feel like it's good one time, but I don't want that to become like a meta because I, st I still care about the RuneScape. And I think a lot of people do still care about the RuneScape within the challenges. So I, I think politics belongs outside of the challenges, really. Like in season two, it was sort of like no rules. Like anyone could do anything like i i was even collaborating with other teams on the gilly guesser challenge in season two and like it was allowed and all that sort of stuff and we collabed in bannings but this year collabing in bannings was banned but i still think people did get help in bannings and uh how can you enforce like saying oh don't don't throw when you can just you can just pretend like to all that's in a really obvious way like he could have just gone the wrong way and pretended like he didn't know where he's going and like no one really would have known so i don't know it's it's a hard one because yeah what do you do but i mean obviously in the end it works out fine because he gets voted into the banning because everyone's resentful but skill spec still goes home because of it <laughs> it's still not great like i don't think i've read a lot of the comments on the video and i think people are fine with the outcome as it was because it was torvesta versus skill specs anime battle skill specs goes whatever but like say if eight sat did get voted in and then it was eight sat be settled and then settled just loses in the rng dh banning i don't think the comments would have been happy at all with what happened this episode so and also if someone else threw like tall is pretty well loved right if somebody else just completely threw i don't know i think they would have caught some incredible flame <laughs> from people so yeah I don't, it's a bit, a bit of a dangerous slippery slope uh with throwing challenges i can't say i'm a massive fan uh, but I, I'd rather it was made against the rules. If it's not, then it's fair game and it's completely fine. Like I always say, just as long as people are playing within the rules, I don't really mind. But I just have preferences. So these are the results. Actually very, very close considering what happened. Like imagine if Torvesa didn't throw, he would have been up here getting like 10 or 11 points. All these people would have been bumped up on our side because they wouldn't have got ragged completely. And we would have won by a long way. It's never a good day to be put up for elimination. And there are only seven people who can get voted for. And being one of them really terrible spot for me so it's really good that all this stuff went down because i could just start messaging people like vote to Vesta. i am love my ass i'm 100 for him rile skill specs up we need Torvester in the banning i'm getting to frame saying tell settle to vote to Vesta. he's like yeah people are not people are solid in our team it's such an easy power like it was such an obvious vote to do and i'm like vote to Vesta, last motherfucker yeah we're going to Vesta. of course we are and then same to victim as well before the uh results before the results were even announced i was like yeah we get to lose get vote to Vesta, good plan settled on j2 we could easily win it's like yeah i think we're in good shape and pray that we don't get put in and i'm like yeah when it's found out i'm like yeah vote to Vesta. Everyone vote to Vesta. It's so, it's so obvious, mate. And then, and then, flipping EVscape comes and he says, vote 8 sat. And then, I'm like, literally everyone is voting to Vesta. How can I say 8 sat? And he's saying, don't say anything. I'll work magic and tell them you're voting for him. Then vote 8 sat. And I say, it's not going to work because I know who everyone voted for last week. I know that e I know that EV thinks that he knows how everyone's going to vote. And honestly, I was, I ended up voting for ASAP, right? But I was super close to just sending in Torvesta. Like, it was, it was, I was like, this is dumb. This is potentially showing my hand to frame that I'm not actually fully with them. 
So, but at the same time, I'm not in Eviescape's great books. I'm more with the frame side at the moment because last week I kind of went against what he was saying and I chose who went into the banning. So I kind of owe EV a bit of a favor here. I end up voting 8 sat resentfully because, because I think it makes myself weaker. But at the same time, I can say, I know who everyone voted for last week, but how can I say it's not going to work because I know who everyone voted for. I voted for you last week and that's where all your confusion is from and that's why it's not going to work. But yeah. And end up having to some some battles you just got you just got to concede right. The results are in. It's four to Torvesta, three to eight. That I was surprised. Like I say to EV Escape, it was going to be five two. I was thinking it was like good luck. Skill Specs Snake does, but Skill Specs was never at he ne Skill Specs never did what EV Escape said at all. <laughs> so I, I know that, and it's just like it's so frustrating not being able to tell EV Escape that that is like what has happened. And he also says Victim voted with us, so he's solid for next week. But I, I had suspicions about that as well. Saying, I'm shocked at Victim. Me too. But he showed his hand now. He's with me. Blah, 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 blah. But then, I know what's up, bro. And I said, there's a possibility that he voted for 8 sat, knowing Torvester would be guaranteed to win because it seems so unanimous. And that would mean that he carries some favor with EV Escape going forward. And you know why I know that? Because that's exactly the same fucking reason I voted for 8 sat Because it was obvious Torvester was going in anyway. And that's why I voted for it. Like, I, like me and Victim are doing exactly the same thing here. We're just giving EV Skip a favor. We both want Torvester in. <laughs> and it's just so funny that it's like, it's like that Spider-Man meme, bro. Where they're both <laughs> pointing at each other like, <laughs> we're, I'm just doing the fucking exact same. But my last week's play pays dividends for me here is so perfect victim gets called out for switching he admits to frame that he switched and you see that in the episode with settle talking about how they don't know if they can trust victim but they don't think that i've voted over here because last week's place oh it's paying off because tasty has voted over here and i've just cast doubt over tasty and mr framed We've got a DM here confirming that, saying that they're thinking about Tasty because Tasty isn't voting with them. But little do they know that Tasty isn't actually being a double agent here. He is being trustworthy and keeping his word with Framed. But because I've sowed that seed of doubt over Tasty, I get away with this once again. And I've satisfied both sides here. So EV Escape goes into the banning call, all guns blazing. And I get the details from Frame saying they've got four, they're going to control it, and they name their four, which I think... I, I would I would never be this abrasive. I'm way more snaky than this. <laughs> and just, it just confirms, it also confirms that they have Zoe, right? Even though there was some reasonable doubt over Zoe being a double agent or not. So I somehow managed to avoid a banning for another week, which is incredible. There was a comment that summed it up perfectly. And it was, who's performed the best in season three so far? Like post to the competitors, solo mission. Who's the least trustworthy person in the Guild of Games? Solo mission. Who don't you want to vote for in the Guild of Games? <laughs> solo mission. <laughs> I, like, my name's not even mentioned anywhere. It's actually, it's incredible. Like you've got to really think about season two and how much everyone hated me as the game player. And I'm just cruising by. I barely even featured today, which is perfect. And this again, horrendous banning to be a part of. And the only thing that matters each week is avoiding being in this bottom two because this is just a coin flip. Like, yeah, it's, it's really entertaining to watch, but it is basically 50-50. There's not really a whole lot of skill involved. And Torvester going in, like, is a great play to throw, but is it? Because you get put in the banning. So <laughs> it's great that they survived, but they could have so easily have gone out. I could have so easily gone home today as well. So that's, you need to put good players in the bannings. Like this, I don't know. Oh, God, I'm so glad I'm not in this one. Anyway, we know what happens. Torvester ends up winning. I was like, oh, no, I really wanted Torvester to lose this one. I haven't been so invested in the banning this whole season, but Torvester going would have been ideal because he's always out for my head, as Eviescape has let me know in the past. So how does that leave the games? Well, this isn't some sort of Disney film, so there is no karma in this world. Skill Specs is eliminated, and I'm actually bringing Tasty over here a little bit. Maybe Vic I still think Victim did exactly the same thing as me. So maybe maybe he's not so over this side as Eviescape seems to think he is. I think he's more here willing willing to do a bit of something something. Same as Tasty. I'm in the middle as always. Will hasn't showed any different. He was on the winning team. Same with Boaty. 
Nothing too much learned today because there weren't too many votes. I'd attach Zoe to here as well because Frame found that out. She was one of the four named by Evie Skip in the banning call. That is all sorted. Nothing too much has changed. And if you were to put people into primary alliances, I'd say it looks like this. With the HD there, so it's 5-5, five, five, 3 in the middle, which is a great balance of players, that's where we want it. And then you hear me say in the episode something like, I'm not happy with my level of control this week, I need to stop making my own game alliance. And I've alluded to that this whole time with EVscape, and he's like, who are your two? We're thinking of doing something, I'm like, yeah, I've got it all figured out. Did you figure who voted for Pro Easy? Who? He's asking me, and I tell him, in time, none of that. <laughs> and he's laughing. Oh, it's just too good. And then I say, trust me, honestly, I'm looking at four people to form. Me, you, X, and X. And then he says, literally, nobody but me trusts you. And that's what I say. This is the reason that you can trust me. <laughs> Oh, I just love slithering around. Four people to form an endgame alliance. Who do you reckon that's going to be? Myself, Eviescape, and two more. Now, there is an awful lot to consider with relationships, with their position in the game, with so many different factors. Who could I possibly bring along for the journey? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Peace when it comes to the lyrics. Me, I do this thing on the mic with no gimmicks. Came along.